Now we're here today to talk about the Jawa Tawari 18. This is a real first for us and it's actually a, a brand new prototype in the Jawa range. I've only made one of these before, but this one is significantly different. So the first thing you'll notice are these beautiful new decals that you'll see on the Tawari 18. They just look amazing. I had somebody come up to me the other day, they thought it was a $180,000 van. So uh, you'll be pretty happy when you see uh, the price point of this one. Starting at the back as usual, we've got two big spare tires here. Your big van, you need a big family. So one, two, three bunks. Um, there's not that many vans actually out there on the market with three bunks. They're really good length, six foot long. Um, they're not super wide, but um, for your, your teenage kids right through to your young ones, this is going to be absolutely awesome. Now, you'll notice the tandem axle here. All level suspension under there as per standard with most of the JAL vans. Um, the tandem axle gives you the ability for the engineering to be up to an ATM of three and a half tonne. So uh, you can certainly get a big payload in this van. And obviously with three kids or two kids and those sorts of things, you're gonna need that bigger payload. You've also got your 220 litre water tanks, which are individually filled. So um, it, it's good for weight distribution to be able to do that. And this is something I usually pass over when I'm looking at the jails, but the external shower with the shower tent, when you've got kids, you know, mucking around, playing in the river or at the beach and those sorts of things, you're probably gonna wanna throw this out um, to keep as much, muck, you know, muck and, and stuff out of the van. All right, let's have a look at this part of the van. We've got our mains power connection here as per standard. We've got our input for our solar blanket. Now this is just a simple Anderson, gray Anderson plug. Um, I know I talk about this all the time. There's 300 amp hours of Enerdrive lithium in this van, but you really do need to carry your external panel if the kids are smashing their devices and charging every, you know, charging and that sort of thing. You need as much power as you can get. 400 watts of glass panels on the roof as well. Uh, DRS, dust reduction system, all standard on this particular van. Mains water um, connection here as well. Now, Another, I'm really coming around on this Mavo. I know that we said we weren't sure on it, but instantaneous hot water for your larger family and your larger family van is absolutely essential. Um, it is heating the water. You can throw the three kids through the showers and have showers yourself. You're not waiting for a storage unit to refill and then heat up again. So um, thumbs up for the instantaneous hot water. Let's have a look. We've got double tunnel boots on the side here. And these run all the way through, so they're really good storage space to, to put your longer items, whether it's your brooms, your poles, maybe um, kids' boards and toys and those sorts of things that need that longer length, paddles and that sort of thing for stand-up paddle boards. So plenty of room. You've got a few services here that you've got to keep an eye on, and obviously that kitchen will come back in when we're traveling, so not quite as much space there, but this is a really good use of space in this uh, additional tunnel boot. You know, given the 18 foot length of the van, um, you get a few extra goodies for storage. Generator slide, we've obviously just got our mat and um, block and chock kit and those sorts of things in there, um, but it's pretty standard on the jail range. All right, let's move around to the drawbar. There's something new on here for us as well. We've never had a diesel heater before. So this is the external uh, tank for the diesel heater. Your pretty standard infinity drawbar here, guys. You've got your two big toolboxes, your Good. gas bottle holders. You can uh, swap it out for a nine kilo or a four kilo. And uh, your Jawa drawbar, your Cruise Master DO35 hitch, Arc 750 Extreme Off-Road Jockey Wheel, a really well appointed outdoor tap and you've got your external gas bayonet here. If you were wanting to run a barbecue clamp arm here, off the drawbar here, really, really simple to connect that up and get it moving. So a few little Easter eggs here, guys. We've got a beautiful big uh, pole tunnel boot on behind the toolboxes here. Heaps of room for your um, poles, for your brooms, all that sort of stuff. Now, we've got slightly new innovation here above, and I'll show you the fridge slide in a second. You'll see that I've got my chips, tissues, and a few little goodies here. The beautiful thing is when we're inside there, you can actually access this little boot section here from the uh, from the bed. So. All right, so um, standard Evercool 95 or 96 litre Series 2 down under fridge. It has the ability to run as a single zone or dual zone. Fridge, freezer, 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 fridge, fridge. Um, doors open nice and clear from the edge of the van. 
and these really nice big wide um, enough room for saucepans fry pans woks and those sorts of things so um, just boundless storage in this van which jar are really synonymous for all right let's rock around to our outdoor living area now we've got the big galley pantry like we're starting to see in a lot of the new prototypes from jawa it's a real winner you've got these big deep drawers here you can sort of see they're not quite a foot deep probably about 20 centimeters deep but heaps of storage room here there's also a little bit of extra room here because instead of the pull out sink pull out burner that we've seen on the commander and the sirocco and those sorts of things we've actually got the infinity style pull out kitchen so you've got the four burner hob you've got your cutlery drawer here you've got your full size sink and your drying rack i really like the configuration of this however the beautiful part about the commander and the sirocco are these uh this galley pantry so it's kind of all incorporated in it. I really like it. The other thing you're going to notice, I'll get you to point up Mavo, yeah. is a massive five meter awning with three arms. So you'll see on the other models, because the awning's slightly um, smaller, you'll only see the two support arms, whereas this one has three support arms in it. So beautiful big space. It's a full five meters. It extends out two and a half. Um, you've got over, you know, 12 and a half square meters of under awning space here, mm -hmm. which is again, pretty essential for your big family. So let's have a look over here. Pretty standard on the infinity range um, into the Tawari as well, but um, some nice shelving built in here. We've got our coffee here and um, stubby coolers, whatever you want to put in here guys. But again, good depth in here. Yeah, easy to lock away. Um, and Movo loves it, which means that I'm a happy man. <laughs> Toilet outlets are a little bit different on this particular van. It's locked at the moment. Um, we are loving this 18 foot van and having all this space. I came in here for the first time and I was like, I felt like I was in an apartment. It's so big. <laughs> I was like, welcome to the apartment. It wouldn't feel so big with three kids. No, true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, show us around movie. Alrighty, so you've got your king size bed. Love it. You've got an abundance of cabinetry here. So you've got your overhead cupboards. You've got plenty of cupboards in here with shelving. And then even underneath the sink as well, a two burner gas cooktop inside and also a little sink inside. So handy for those wet days. Especially with three kids. Yeah, especially with three kids. Um, your bunks, of course. Can't forget about the bunks. They're actually really quite spacious. Yeah, so as I was saying on the outside guys, six foot. They're probably only about two and a half foot wide. Um, but for younger kids, I mean, that's an abundance of space. What I really like about the- Do you want me to get in there? Yeah, get in there. What I like about the appointment of the bunks as well. Here goes a move, eh? <laughs> what are you, about five foot eight? Uh, I don't know. It's comfy though. Eh? You've got your own baby Sirocco fan and it's got a couple of lift, uh, little um, different uh, settings for how fast you want your fan. Um, and also, it's, it's actually quite safe as well, being a little baby Sirocco. You've got your USB ports and your 12 volt, plus every bunk has uh, their own little lamp as well. What else? Oh, you've got your Jawa Smart TV, which comes standard as well. You've got your, did we talk about the bigger Sirocco? we did. You've got your biggest Sirocco fans as well, which are fantastic. Absolutely love Sirocco. Everybody Full knows stop. that I'm big on the appointment, well, where the um, Sirocco fans are appointed in the van and they're right at the midpoint of the van. Yeah. So you can get good airflow into the living area if you're sitting yeah. at the table here or cooking on the stove. You can also point it back to you as you're lying on. Yeah. Um, big overhead. Oh, I know. Nice big open space hatch. There's your indoor unit for your Dometic dust reduction system. And uh, air let's, con. yeah, uh, as standard with all the Jawas, your air con. Uh, let's have a look in the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom's actually quite big. I'll let you show first. So you've got, it's combined obviously. So your sink and your toilet combined. There's that nice window. So if I jump in there, you can sort of see how much space you have. Obviously you move your toilet paper and stuff. And if you were going to 
you know, this was going to be your, your van. You would deck it out, obviously, with towel holder and toilet paper holder and all the rest of it. But um, decent size shower head. And you can remove it where you want it as well. All right, maybe show the guys where I stash my chips. Oh, <laughs> the secret spot. Mm. You could put lollies and all, all sorts of things in here. Here it is. Good. You know, all right, so as standard in this van, there's also a microwave, which I think is basically essential if you've got, um, you know, a larger family and those sorts of things. I used it the other night to reheat my roast lamb and it was really good. <laughs> now, let's have a look at the control panel. First of all, it's really well situated in the van, a long way away from young kids reaching hands. Um, nearly, I ne nearly need a step to get up here to get it. No, I'm joking. So here's the control for the Enerdrive AC transfer inverter. You know, relatively centered on most vans in the jar. This is just a great piece of kit. Driving the uh, 240 volt sockets for us at the moment because we're charging a few things here. All your main control switches and circuit breakers and your water tanks here. Both 120 litres and an 80 litre grey water tank. Your Clarion head unit in this particular one and your EPRO battery monitor system. It's telling us how many hours we've got left in the battery on our current usage, 170 hours. That'll keep us going for a little while. And you've also got your controls for your diesel heater, which I showed you the tank on the drawbar. So let's have a look now at the electrical fit out and then also we'll get in under this bed to show you some more storage. I know I harp on about this guys, but this is one of the things that you don't really think about when you're at a caravan show or going from distributor to distributor and looking at different vans. You, you, there's so many details to take in that this is one that people often miss. These Jawa vans are beautifully appointed in terms of the 12 volt fit out and the lighting fit out. Um, we've got a couple of GPOs, double GPOs in this particular van on the inside. So this is enough to do our charges for our laptops, for our drone, all of those. So, oh, we've got actually another double GPO over here as well. They're just everywhere and they're really in really intelligent and well thought out positions. We've also got a heap of 12 volt charging points everywhere there your 2.4 amps on both sides as well instead of your 2.1 and your 1.5s and um we've also got some more over here in the corner next to my secret stash base and some others over here on Movo's side of the bed as well so just really well appointed you saw some of the stuff on the outside of the van as well so you're never gonna be searching or looking for uh, power points or charging points in this van now i'm gonna move these Sirocco's out of the way because it's a little bit harder to get under the bed. So let's pull this up. Now, we've got oh, access to our outdoor storage unit in here, which I think is another great idea. So you can be storing stuff that if it's raining and inclement weather outside, you can actually get to it from um, that tunnel boot or get to it from the inside of the van as well. Now, let's have a look in here. As I was saying, this is actually really easy to get to. You've got your um, internal unit for your uh, hot water system and your water pump over here. Another GPO here with your circuit breakers and those sorts of things and your beautiful big 300 amp hour Enerdrive BTEC lithium battery. Your AC charger, your DC DC charger and your 2000 watt AC transfer E power Enerdrive inverter. So really, really well laid out to have this space, to have all these inclusions and to, to be able to travel with a large family in this level of comfort is absolutely awesome. So.